Welcome, dear viewers. I hope you're having a nice year so far. And welcome to this video about a uh, No Astellors Club. We want to try to not really win the game. The only goal here is to remove the opponent's Astalor before they get to play him, or at least one of the iterations of the guy. So let's see. We don't know if the opponent actually runs Astalor, but we don't care. We are gonna go ahead with our plan. Trying to somehow discount the Whirlpool and play our own Astalor and therefore I try to get rid of all the copies whenever they are. Let's see what do we find here. Sister, I like. I could coin and hero power to draw one more card. It actually benefits uh, the handmaiden. I'm going, maybe I'm drawing way too many cards, but all the, it's all for the sake of getting our Astalor online soon. There's simply nothing I can do. Mm hmm. Well, 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 that's two plus one, so we can get rid of that body and draw one card with, out of this funnel cake. Uh, do I want to heal uh, before or after? Maybe be after we only get one mana back. Get a coin while we can. Now, this, uh, this guy's Cthir. Uh, let me see. Okay. This guy is going to transform into a card from the opponent's deck. So we get a pick on what the opponent is carrying. But for the likes of it, um, it's possibly a kind of Elise Reno type of deck. So I, I expect to see a Nastalor in the opponent's deck. Do we see a Holy Nova? I'm gonna go with the identity theft. Holy Nova, I could use to to draw one more card. There's a Ignis and there's a Suchiru. I don't know. Do I? I don't have any Forge cards. I think the clean the scene is the way to go. I'm going to preemptively play my Love Everlasting. I think I've already drawn enough cards here. Of course, I want to find the Astalor, but thanks to the Love Everlasting, now our Willpoon can be played by 6 mana. Right, we see the Prince Renathal, which I don't really care about. I'm going to thrive in the shadows. Mm -mm -mm. Illuminate. Play the Sister Svalna, which is pretty good. We get a. I'm going to grab the Whirlpool and right away draw it. Now the opponent needs more removal now. We know he has the prince. We know we have seen a uh, Holy Nova. So the, this player is worried about, uh, concerned about huge boards. He silenced his own guy for some reason. Is he trying to? What is he trying to do? What does a misplay? What, what is going on here? That was strange. Okay. I'm gonna. Okay, we see a cathedral from the opponent. I don't really care about that. Now. Um, maybe I can. Not yet. I think we don't need that one yet. I 
I think I'll like the drown for later. Let's trade the shard of the Inharu. Discover something. Okay. I could use another Illuminate, but I think I'm going to go with the Identity Theft here. And... David, we have too many cards in hand now. The opponent has to somehow deal with my 8-1. Next turn, probably... Maybe some Cathedral... If I get my Astalor here, I'm gonna be very happy. This... No, that's not it. I have 10 cards in my hand, so... Gonna be playing the excavation specialist with rage again. There it is, my Astler. Hello. Let's identity theft. Aha! I knew it. I'm gonna go with the region for myself. A little bit of an enamored fool. A mysterious visitor. I know for sure that Astalor is next. Mm. Uh, be gone. Be gone. Oh, interestingly enough too um, there's only one duplicate card left in my deck which is creation protocol so if I draw that then my arena is going to be lighting gold that, that's gonna be amusing to see so next term my dream is going to be completed the no astalors club we're allowed to have one okay uh, uh, that guy it's really a pain for me, uh, I think the card is just too good. Which means that everybody wants to have a Dastalor in the deck, which means that most of the decks are kind of dull and the guy does too many things for you. It's like um, a Celiacs. Okay, we didn't get to do what we wanted to do. Uh, the opponent chickened out. We were close. So let's try one more time. I, I'm gonna take this as a almost there victory because remember we are not trying to win here the goal is to remove the Astalor from the opponent's deck or hand or board either one okay. another priest opponent kind of sketchy the opponent is running Chogal and this is going to help us. The first minion we play each turn is going to cost one less. Um, I think i rather have the Whirlpool waiting down the line for later because with this hand I'm going to be able to draw quite fast. As a matter of fact, I can draw turn one, which I think I'm going to do because I also have the Handmaiden. And the coin is not that relevant here because of this anomaly. We might even get to draw another card. Depends on what the opponent does here. Okay, he decides to leave my clergy alone. I like there's the whirlpool another one well I wanted them to be on the bottom of the deck rather so when I illuminate I get the discount but never mind also good the opponent with a well <laughs> that's interesting because he is what the heck so the opponent he has used this guy to change his hero power that was already changed because he 
created a very special deck um, that uh, heal and draw a little bit. Creation protocol. That's identity theft first. Okay, that's fun. Go for Garn and. Uh, well, I think the opponent is running a Thunderbringer deck, which is quite likely next to Reno. A kind of a, probably both Reno and Thunderbringer. Let's uh, get another coin. Our handmaiden is ready. Probably we want to drop her. Very fast. Cathedral Trump Heist, very nice. So I was about to do this, but given that I got the Trump Heist, I'm not so sure now. So let's uh, do this for just one. We don't need to forge. Uh, Uh, what the heck. Alrighty then, well, I'm not going to punch the hell I'm forging because I'm already... Oh no, I, I have too many cards here. I'm about to die and you know... What can I do? No! The Astalor! Why the Astalor? Mm, all right. Am a friend of the Messiah. This is not working, guys. <laughs> all right, this is uh, game over. Let's play this. Steady. Steady. Can of course do this and that and that. And it's kind of clever for the opponent to run this because his deck is pretty expensive. Wow, now the only thing I, th the only thing, it was interesting is that he made a deck without holy spells to have the shadow power, and and then he changed his hero power. Okay, last one. Uh, this last game was a defeat, but. Uh, mainly because we burned the Astalor, that was the the worst. Uh, I don't know how to play. Okay, that's time. We want to, to go ahead and do one more. Can we do it against a Druid? Uh, this is going to be tricky if the opponent is playing an aggro deck. We're going to be in serious trouble. Um... Let's keep the Whirlpool because we do have the Love Everlasting on the opening hand. Uh, so, technically... Okay, why? <laughs> Come on! Technically a defeat for us again. This is not the way we are supposed to do this. Okay. Anyways, let's go. I prefer to lose the game and do, get to play my cards than to just get a free winning eh. Eh. anyways that's the game sometimes you get sometimes you don't uh against uh death knight okay now for one on one hand death knights are difficult to beat on the other hand the chances of our opponent actually having the Astalor are more likely here, so hopefully we get there. Why do I have two Whirlpools in my opening hand? Oh, that's, that's a pain. Mm, the Prime, so of course the opponent just loves to shuffle plagues, which is not fun. And we may get to play some plagues ourselves. Plague. 
Now, somebody in Blizzard decided that the plagues were fun and created a bunch of cards relating to plagues and that guy certainly hates every Hearthstone player. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Let's do this first. We are now heading towards being able to Whirlpool on our turn 6. Maybe earlier, because with Identity Theft we could be getting the opponent's coin. I don't know if I want it, but that's a chance to have. He's going to keep another... Doesn't have a second weapon of the Primus. Okay. Hmm. I think I'm gonna dredge instead of identity theft. Aha! There you are, buddy. Okay, this is the game, guys. This looks like it. Job done. Okay. Hold it. This is going to cost six, so by turn depending on our board or depending on the opponent's board, we're going to be able to Remove Astalor from the, the opponents. Let's. Now, sadly, this funnel cake only gets up to our total mana crystals, so we're going to have to wait a couple turns here. Mm. This seems fair, and this guy too. Right. So next turn, well, this guy is a uh, pretty heavy for the opponent. Okay, that's kind of scary, but okay. Now we just want to play this before the opponent. No! Okay, change of plans. I'm going to have to get rid of the six. Um, I mean the 5-5 five, five Astalor now. Urgh. Damn you opponent. Mm -hmm. Now we do have more Astalors ourselves. Our gift of the arcane enlightens us. Did I play? Yes. So I'm gonna save the final cake for later. Can I five? Maybe refresh and six. So I need eleven mana now. Uh, too late. So hopefully, maybe we drop one and survives. That's our hope. Ah, uh, opponent, why did you play the Astral first? Oh no. Or, uh, no, I cannot do that either. I was thinking about this counting with the mysterious visitor, but it can't be done. He probably wants to play the Hollow Hound, but maybe he's holding it back to against a stronger board of my, from my side. So we know, we also know that he's holding a um, patches up there. Which, all in all, the strategy of using patches to destroy Astalor is much more efficient, but I like difficult. I prefer to do difficult things. Okay, give me a Primus. And. This doesn't help. Uh, let's go with the Corpse Sprite. Oh, my hand is full. So, the only card I care about in my deck is now would be Sister Svalna. Uh, but he has patchwork, so if he plays patchwork, he, he saves me from burning one card. Okay, Harvester could have been fun, but there is there is no more. So, um, Let's play one of these. Of Light sings, and the 
in pure form. Let's drop this just just because. Another final cake, excellent. Now oh, the good thing about the opponent's deck is that since he doesn't have the triple red runes, triple blood, he cannot easily remove this. So he's about to play the Primus. I'm guessing, or the Sylvanas. So, all in all, we should be fine. Hell yeah, okay. Okay, do not kill the Astalor, come on. Don't do it. Don't play yours either. Ha <laughs> ha! Gotcha! <laughs> All right, can I do both? Uh, no, I think I don't have enough mana to play two of them. So let's uh, just do this and that and goodbye. <laughs> no more Astalor. The opponent. <clears throat> Oh, and we got one of the, we got one of his corpse rides too, oh, the, the process. Okay, that was funny. Now we have to survive the game, of course, if we want to, we already won, to be fair. Let's uh, forge. Do I want two sisters? Maybe I do. Not the optimal but let's go ahead with this and play the Astalor. Now I expect the opponent to either play some Primus or Sylvanas here. Now the good thing about Double Sister is that I can defeat the plagues. There's, there are lots of plagues in my deck, but if I fill my hand, the plagues are going to do much for the opponent. That's a nice side effect of having two of them. Yeah. yeah. Alright. This guy I don't like. I'm gonna go with this. I could have stolen him, but if the opponent has these two cards. I do want to be able to um, excavation specialist. I do want to be able to take back the opponent's primus or my. He's going to steal mine, and then I, we do back and forth, stealing. Of course, I'm taking a damage here. Oh, ouchies. And the opponent maybe has the uh, that twenty mana guy. That a willing donor. Yes, yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think it's time for her. The of death is not gentle. Give me the answer to the board, please. But this is this works. Uh, these two. Let's go with Defen. So at least we take care of this guy. Heal. Okay. Of course, the most appealing ability of the Primus could be the Runes of Blood. There goes my sister. Goodbye, sister. I'm gonna miss you. But we have another sister there, are triplets. Ouch! Not down with the sheep, please. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So one of these for the road. Okay. Identity theft. Alright. Nine cards in hand, get 
one another primus for me and this guy looks fine but maybe i don't want this now nah, let's go with the numb rancher i Here. am a friend of the sire and the runes decide your fate there we go whoop uh, more and poor or another non muncher or this guy this guy too maybe it's interesting let's go with, with taunt because i expect the opponent to have more weapons and also i want to fill my hand soon yeah that's that's fun now the opponent has a lot of life points yeah cool he pretty much was forced to do that i we might see uh conceding after my next turn i can steal the guy the opponent uh he doesn't have sylvana on hand so she's not going to be infused that's great. Yeah, me have that for you. Mm. All right, you. The runes decide your fate. There we are. Oh, maybe the opponent is banking on me. Remnants of uh, drawing tons and tons of. Glory. of uh, what you call it? Of runes. Let's play this. Well, technically, I could lose to drawing way too many plagues in a roll. All oh, right, there's one, two. This guy's Kathir. Let's go with this. I should play this first. Goodbye. And this one, two. Um, this looks like a fun minion to have, I suppose. um <laughs> interesting maybe this is the best way to go here to go about i'm already have nine cards in my hand and then i gonna have other one this i like so i don't expect the opponent to be winning soon now we are going to be protected against the plagues because our hand is full only thing is that if we want to keep the love everlasting going i have to play some spell we also have the kathir to pick on the opponent's deck which is about to drain it is time to end this. yes now, the opponent conceded, but most importantly, we got rid of the opponent's Astalor Stage 2. And that's it. Um, this deck won, finally. It actually won three times, but uh, two of those does, do not count. Uh, so I hope you have enjoyed. Please leave your comments about what deck ideas you would like me to try and what is your experience this year and stay tuned for next video until then sayonara